Uh, I like to get where they're at. You like it? Um, I think we need a 50 or they would go with 35. Sorry. Jay, I'm going to have you boom from the right hand side. Gotcha. And yeah. uh, let me get behind camera. I'll look at monitor. Getting the lowest crew. Rolling. Sound? <laughs> Honey, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine, dear. Should we move? Thanks again for agreeing to do this, guys. Well, thank you for having us. Could you introduce yourself to the camera? Well, my name's Deborah. You can call me Deb. I'm Russell. Awesome. And could you tell us about yourselves? Oh, where should we even start, really? Well, this is our home. We've lived here for, well, since we got married. It's got good bones. It's been said a million times, I know, but really this house is special. It's our forever home, oh, literally. We aren't the only folks who think so either. Every five or so years, we get some hippie couple who fall in love with the place and try to move in and start a family here. So we've taken up a bit of haunting in our free time. It's not a 100% effective method. We do other things to occupy our time as well. Of course. We have to keep each other engaged. 71 years of marriage and we're still happy as a couple of teenagers. Let's see. We play dominoes. Lots of dominoes. We play cards. Go fish! Uno. Taken up painting. We bird watch. You like that one, Russ? Is that one um uh, cardinal? Oh! oh! Tell them about your garden, hon. They don't want to hear about that. Well, sure they do. Oh, Deb used to have this garden, right? Out in the backyard? When we were alive. Oh, thank God. I'm so, my, my fault. Oh. I just, I wasn't sure if they knew. Go on. Uh, she grew all kinds of vegetables. And I'm talking huge. Better than the stuff in the supermarkets. Obviously, I haven't been able to do that in a long time. Why not? Oh. Well. No, you stay right there, honey. I got it. Okay. Okay. She's a wonderful cook. Oh was always the way to his heart. Direct path from his stomach to his heart. I mean, really, boys. Don't take your taste buds for granted. That honestly might be what I miss the most. Hold on. Have you boys eaten? I can eat. She's always been like this. Loves people. The youth. She can just pop, 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 pop. Got the gift to gab. We probably wouldn't be together today if she hadn't asked me to dance with her at, at the, um, shoot, the junior prom? I'll never forget those stunning blue eyes of hers. Or were, or were they, oh, brown 
those deep brown eyes came up to me and I, I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. So what would you guys say has been the hardest? Ah! Oh dear! Oh, what? Are you okay? Oh dear, I'm sorry. That's just Frank. He's harmless. Again, we are just so sorry about that, really. I don't know how we forgot to mention Frank. Well, he keeps to himself, mostly. Frank was here before us. The house was his way before it was ours. But he saw how much we loved the place and how much Russell and I cared for one another and for the house and he was fine with letting us stick around. What happened to him? Frank hasn't been the same for a while. Not since his partner moved on. Moved on? Moved on. Left Frank behind. He's just... He's been sad for so long now. I'm not sure he even remembers what he's sad about. Why didn't Frank go with them? Frank just wasn't ready yet. And I think they were just tired of waiting around for him. You can only love a person so much, you know? Even if it's with your whole heart, sometimes that's not enough. peace. We love things the way that they are. All this time and I wouldn't change a thing. We've never been big into change. We are pretty much content to stay here forever. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I just thought you guys can't leave the house, right? Right. right? Yeah, so what are you guys going to do after the demolition next week? The what? Honey, calm down. We need to talk about this. We knew something like this would happen eventually. Calm down? This is our home, Russell. What do they mean condemned? We live here. No, we don't. We haven't for a long time, dear. Um, hey, you guys come back tomorrow, okay? It'll be better. thought it would be on our own terms, and I... We thought we'd feel different by now. It's selfish, I know. We've had a wonderful life together, for longer than most. You can pick up religion, you can have your own beliefs, but the fact is, we don't know what comes after. I think that's what scared me most of all not knowing. But Russ told me that all of the best things in my life, everything that means anything to me, has come into my life out of the blue and has scared the shit out of me and will never know what's next unless, unless we, we embrace, embrace the, the unknown. unknown. How do you do that? How do you... Well, we've only seen it happen once, but... It was explained to us as, you just are, and then you aren't. You let go of everything. How do you do that? I could do it all again, my love. 
I wouldn't change a thing. I've loved you for every second. You know, you wouldn't think you would miss being able to cry. Thank you.